Shalom, Shalom. This is Tazayar. This is Brother Matazar. We're coming to you with another sit down lesson, man. The spirit of your by Shem Yahushai. Before we get started, we're going to give all praise praises and Lord. glory and honor to, to Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, uh, brothers, your sisters, and your confusion of faces out there, man. Okay, so here we are, man. We're uh, going to do a lesson and uh, we'll just jump straight into it. It's Matthew chapter 15 and 1. Then came to Yahweh Shah, scribes and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, Why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. Right. But he asked and said unto them, Why do ye? Also transgress the commandment of the power by your tradition. For the power commanded, saying, Honor thy father and thy and mother, and he that curses father or mother, let him die the death. But yea, say whosoever, but ye, but ye say, whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is a gift by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. Right. Come, on, because look. The whole reason for this video is basically uh, is uh, to prove that you can't eat anything. This scripture is not talking about uh, what, what, uh, what goes inside of a man, basically, fall of a man. Because you got Christians out here thinking that that means that you can eat whatever you want to eat. It's not what goes inside of a man defiles them is what comes up out of the man that, that, that defiles them. That's that's the doctrine that they hold on to, you know, to justify the reason for eating whatever they want, what, whatever they want to eat, like swine and catfish and all types of abominations, you know. So basically, when Yahweh shines is, you know, breaking down to them, you know, well, act, you know, to the spirit, what we're breaking down to the spirit. Um, is uh, the context of this whole chapter, well not the whole chapter, maybe down to verse 30, I mean 20, Salakia, to prove that, uh, you know, you can't be there and uh, just eat anything you want. Go ahead, brother, if you can, Baba Kusha, I know you just read down to like, what, verse 5? Can you just start again at the top? Salakia. Just start at the top of one, real quick. Matthew chapter 15 verse 1 uh -huh. Then came to you Then came to Yahweh Shai Scribes and Pharisees Which were of Jerusalem saying Why do thy disciples transgress To the tradition of the elders For they wash not their hands When they eat bread Right, nah, they was uh, Basically tripping on the, uh, the Disciples because they didn't wash their hands And it's going to go into it Let's read down a little bit more it says, but he asked and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of the power by your tradition? Right, kind, because basically they was mad because the disciples wasn't keeping the uh, tradition, the traditions of man, which is uh, goes back to a, a, a traditions, a tradition that they used to keep called Corbin. If I'm not mistaken, if that's the, uh, I think that is the name of it. I think it's called Corbin. You know, where they wash pots and pans and their hands and, you know, all types of crazy madness. Just like to this day, you know, like, you know, Jake, you know, the traditions of men celebrate all these different holidays and do all types of other madness. Go ahead, bro. It says, For the power commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother, and he that curses father and mother, let him die to death. Right, come, because... And another reason why they were keeping that tradition is to get out of taking care of their parents. They they wasn't taking care of uh, their mother and father like the law said when they your your uh, mother and father get up to a certain age you're supposed to take care of them. So they would use that for an excuse and say that um, they didn't have no money, so they couldn't take care of their parents. But go ahead, bro. Read. Kind of say, and it says, uh, and I'm not. It says, but ye say, whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is a gift by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me, and honor not thy, and honor not his father or his mother. Right, because Christ, kind, exactly. They didn't want to take care of their parents. 
like they supposed to. So they they, they made up a uh, this this tradition to get out of uh, keeping the law. Go ahead, bro. Okay. And it reads. I'm gonna start back at the time. Honor not his father or his mother; he shall be free. Right. Thus have ye made the commandment of the power of non effect by your tradition. Right, kind, exactly. Because they was te teaching, that here it is, they were teaching the law, but at the same time, you know, they had their tradition, they were being hypocrites. You know? Just like you got today. Same setup in the churches with these uh, pastors. You know? They do the same madness, man. Telling these people that they can eat whatever they want to eat. Do whatever the hell they want to do, man. Go ahead. Con, it says, ye hypocrite. You, ye hypocrites. See, Con. See, when the Lord called them hypocrites, man. Because they'll be teaching the law, the law, the law. They wouldn't do the law. They, they wasn't keepers of the law. They were keeping the traditions of men. Go ahead. It says, well did Isaiah, Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, this people drive nigh to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips but their heart is far from me kind, kind, yep. but in vain they do worship me teaching for doctrine the commandments of men right go ahead and he called the multitude and said unto them hear and understand not that which goeth into the mouth not that which goeth into the mouth to follow the men but that which coming out of the mouth. Right, Khan. And basically, this is going into the whole point. Go ahead. This defileth the a man. Uh huh. All right. Uh, but basically, in a, in, a, in a term too, like you might be thinking some things, you know, uh, not not to the uh, perspective of adultery, but to the perspective of like somebody said something to you, you didn't like how they said it to you. You imagining things like you know things happening to them or saying things to them, you know. But as long as you can keep your tongue and keep your, your uh, actions in order, then you know you're not being defiled. Because we see faggots and stuff out here every day, and you might want to put some faggots to death, but you know you keep yourself in subjection, you know. So you're not you're not transgressing the law, you know. You're not you're not uh, taking uh, matters into your own hands because the Lord said vengeance is His. That's right, God. So he says, uh, well, what he said is, uh, uh, cause actually that's in our law, you know, in fact, a homosexual is supposed to be put to death, okay. but since we over here in, um, captivity, you know, we have to render it to, uh, render it to Caesar, what is Caesar's, exactly. but under so-called white men's laws, we can't do that. Yeah, that's, that's the nice point. You know what I'm saying? So we got to wait on your Howard shot. That's why he say vengeance is his, man. You know, go ahead, bro. Uh -huh. He says, Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying? Mm -hmm. But he answered and said, Every plant which my, my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be up, shall be rooted up. Come right. right. And, and the spirit, the spirit wasn't dealing with them too, because it showed, you know what I'm saying, by their actions. Because they wasn't doing the will of the Heavenly Father. They was doing they was doing the traditions of men, man. You know, they wasn't keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. They was a bunch of hypocrites, like the Lord said, man. And they was teaching, they was trying, they was teaching, they was they was so bugged out. They was teaching people to do the law, but they wasn't doing the law. But go ahead, bro. It says, let them alone. Mm -hmm. They be blind leaders of the blind. Right, cuz. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Right, and that's talking about these pastors. These wicked ass pastors, man. You know, they're leading the blind, you know. And the blind is you Christians in these churches, man. You know, they're telling you that you can uh, basically eat anything you want to eat as long as you pray over it, you know. And, and you'll be fine, but that's not true. That's not according to the laws. You can't eat everything, anything you want. There's a reason why you can't eat swine and you know shellfish. You can't eat a fish that don't have the fins or the uh, the uh, uh, the fins or the scales. You gotta have both. You gotta have the, the, uh, the fins and the scales. You can't eat catfish and you know uh, lobster and shrimp. 
You can't eat these things. These things were made to um, cleanse the earth. It wasn't made to, it was not made to eat, you know? Go ahead, bro. And that's why the Lord, you know, mm -hmm. basically uh, said that those that's not planted by him shall be uprooted because they, man, you pastors, you're not, you're not planted by the or You're not ordained, really, man. You're not ordained to teach the words of the you have by Shemel Right, Khan. Right. Because they wasn't ordained. That's right. That's a beautiful point, man. They were ordained by who? Esau. Huh. You know what I'm saying? These these wicked pastors that set up in place, they sold out for filthy lucre. You know? They they, they, they serve their own bellies. You know? These, these men don't care about you. All they care about is getting paid, man. You know? That's why they teach you this, this bugged out doctrine that you can, uh, basically, you can do whatever you want to do. I got a precept for you. This is Deuteronomy 14 and 8. Mm -hmm. And the swine, because it divided the hoof, yet true if not the cud, it is unclean unto you. He shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. Right, huh? And that law still, you know, um, abides to this day. Mm -hmm. If you can get, uh, I think it's in Hebrews uh, uh, 13 or 8. You know, because basically... You people got it all in your mind that, you know, the most high is um, when he sent his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ down here. You got it in your mind that he sent his son to come change up the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, but the scriptures don't teach that. You know, you you only going off of what some man told you, man. You know, you tell, telling you that the law is done away with, telling you that uh, you can do, you can, um, you can eat what you want to eat as long as, as long as you pray over it. You know, all this uh, madness. Go ahead, read, bro. Con, this is Hebrews 13 and 8, and it reads, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, the same yesterday and today and forever. Right, he the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's never changed. The Heavenly Father did not change his word. He made the most high don't make mistakes. He, he doesn't make mistakes. He's the most high. He's the all-knowing. He's the Almighty. He's the Creator. Uh, he, he's the uh, uh, the, uh, the beginning and the end, man. You know, if he wanted it to be a certain kind of way, as far as like you can eat uh, uh, whatever you want to eat, it would have been that from the beginning. You you would have been able to eat. That wouldn't be in the law. That wouldn't be there if it was okay to eat it. You know, and, and you know, logic should set in. You know, this is why the Most High called the uh, nation of Israel Sadich, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. This is the reason why he called you Sadiches, because you know the cycle that our people goes through, that that our people go through. You would think something would click. You know, like wait a minute, some this is not right. We've been doing it this way all this time, but this we get the same result, which is death. You know, you got our people out here dying from cancer, diabetes, you know, all types of ailments, gout, high blood pressure, heart attacks, strokes, you know, etc. You got all this stuff going on, you, you know, and it is continuing on in the same cycle, repetitive cycle. It never stops, you know, but you people will still keep on doing the same damn thing. You, you like a dumbass rat. They keep running into the same traps over and over and over again. Getting hit right in the head. That's why the most high called you Sodich children, man. Real stupid, man. You at this point you should be trying to figure out a way, another, another reason, uh, another um solution. You should be trying to get another solution. But Jake, Jake don't want, you know, don't um want another solution. Jake is just used to being, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Used to be in uh, docile, man, and they just accepting any damn thing, man. You know, you should be questioning all this stuff your pastor saying, man. You should question his his crusty ass, man. All he's doing is telling you one scripture and then break dancing and getting your money. That's all these damn devils is doing, man. Something should tell you something ain't right. And here, and actually, it is. The so-called uh, listen, man. The most high got the men of the Lord set up to tell you, and you're not listening. you still listening to uh, your pastor now, stumping and praising the Lord and dying in the church having a heart attack from eating that damn swine. 
You got more films or you got something to say to like you? Mm-hmm. This is uh, Matthew 15, 15. Mm-hmm. Then asked Peter and said unto him, Declare to us this parable. Because Peter and his man, he like, Lord, you said there ain't something that going to it, man. So what you trying to say? Because I know the scripture says they ain't supposed to be swearing. You know, Peter probably had that thought process flowing in his mind, man. Right, Because the Lord spoke in parables. Right, and this is the actual point, Salaki. Because he going to break it. This is how you know it's not talking about actual food. Because people got in their mind that this is talking about food. Go ahead, brother. Fine. He says, they answer Peter, he said, to him, the God tell us this parable. Mm-hmm. And how was said, are ye also without understanding? Or he said, are ye also yet without understanding? Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever enter in, in at the mouth goes into the belly and is cast out into drought? But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. So now that's what he's speaking of the words. For out of the heart, for out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murderers, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witnesses, blasphemies. Right. These are the things which defile a man. Right. But to eat with unwashed hands the father is not a man. Right, come on. But what the father's a man is wickedness, man. Basically. And everything that's contrary to the law. To the law, such as the commandments, man. Everything that's contrary to the most high. That's what defiles a man. You know, going to commit murder, going to commit adultery, you know, going to uh, eat swine, going to eat catfish or, sh- or, or shrimp. Being a liar, bearing a false witness on somebody, man. These are the things that defile you. Not, it's not talking about food. Okay, so you can't use this scripture no more. You can't, you can't use this no more to uh, say, you know, what I'm saying that's what that's talking about. You know, because evidently, uh, abominable fools is defiling our people. If you want to be technical. It's making them sick. You know, because they transgressing the law. They eating swine's flesh. You can't pray over abominable food. The most high is not blessing it. As a matter of fact, he's allowing you to get sick because you because you being hard headed and stiff neck. So you gotta face judgment. That judgment is death. The scriptures say that the wages of sin is death. And that's what you're doing when you eat when you eating pork and, and all these abominable foods and all of that, you, you are transgressing the law. You're sinning against the Heavenly Father if you didn't know that. That is a sin. And the scriptures say the wages of sin is death. Is, it in, is that it? That was last verse? Yeah. Okay. And with that, we're going to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, the Shem, the Kach, the Dash. Give honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Rule Well. Peace and salutations to you, Akiam out there that's pushing us truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.